Hey, it's Kim. I just wanted to go ahead and show you how I adhere my label for my um, candles. It's a, a seal that I, I make. I started off with it. I ordered the seal and um, had it custom made with my um, name of my company. And then um, I tried using the faux glue um, wax, but that doesn't work because it's a candle. The candle gets warm. It warms the wax. I mean, warms that 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 um, hot glue material, even though it's colored. So eventually, if somebody power burns a candle, it's going to start melting down the front of the candle. So that doesn't work. So I tried to figure out what else I could do because uh, you know I wanted to use the seal. I love that look. It's kind of like ancient. I don't know. It's just different. So anyway, um, I came across this stuff, and it's um, creative paper clay, and it comes white, and they use it to make like. Um, ornaments it's you know it's like a it's not polymer clay it's made out of paper and so um, I buy this package and then I use a powdered paint pigment in brown because that comes in white to make it this color and I mix it in there and it's just like play-doh and so then I make these little um, football shapes and then I smash it with my um, and use it use it uh, impress it with my um, my seal and then I just take like a, it's like rub and buff, and I just rub across the, the top of it so it highlights it with a with either gold or silver. And that's what I do. So then I'm, I kind of, and so then I put them in the oven at 170, and I just let them dry in there, and I turn it off, and I kind of arc them a little. So then that way when I glue them onto my jar, they have a curve to them. It's easier to adhere. And I have some that are flat for my flat can, um, um, candle containers as well. So as you can see, I have an order here, and I um, I'm just going ahead and adhering my labels before I pour the candles. And I use this um, heavy-duty glue. It's called like E6000. It's great for anything. It's something you should always keep in your house if you don't have it. It doesn't glue like instantly, like super glue but this this baby it holds on I mean I have a big heavy plate that I put paint picture hangers on and it's hanging on my wall just with the little picture hangers so this is some really good industrial glue and so what I do is I just put a drop on the back and you're supposed to like put some on both sides and let them sit but I don't do that and I take a rubber band and I and I do that. And if I get a little bit on the glass, all I have to do is take a little towel while it's wet. I mean, while the glue is still wet and just rub it off of there. And so that's how I stick my labels on. And then I just let them set. And within a few hours, they're already, um, um, you know, glued on there. And so I usually have like, a, I make a whole bunch of these at one time and just keep them in a Ziploc baggie. And I put a little dab of glue on it, just a little bit, and then put it where I want it, make sure it's, the words are level, and then I take my rubber band, and put it around there. And so that's it. I just thought I'd share that with you. That's how I do my um, seals on my jars. And have a good day. I have lots of work to do.